Hi and welcome to this edition of Out of the Box. My name is Paul. Today we're going to have a look at what is in this box. Um, this is the Ubiquiti G3 Dome camera. So it's part of the Unified Protect range. It is a, a slightly more fixed position um, camera, but it does have a slightly wider uh, field of view. Um, it's sort of somewhere around about 100 degrees, um, but by the time it has um, camera correction and stuff, you're probably looking at closer to the 89 to 91 degrees um, view. So let's open up the box, um, show you what you get inside. Now most of the Ubiquiti cameras do come without power over Ethernet injectors. Um, that's the ability to um, add power to the cable. You will need to get a cable to the camera. Um, all Ubiquiti products, there are a couple of different ones. Um, the G3 in or the Instant and the G3 Micro that are somewhat wireless, um, but most of the range is designed to be wired. Um, so do make sure you're aware of that and that you need to get power to those devices using PoE. So we'll have a little look inside. We're gonna open this uh, box up for you. Um, so in the lid, cleverly mounted up here, we'll take that out in a moment, we'll take that out now, um, is the dome uh, cover for the device. Um, and this is the actual device in here itself and uh, with a plastic cover so we'll take that off in a moment um, so you can see that um, then looking down in the back of the, here uh, very much like the um, access points and um, you have a plate so that could actually be on the top of your false ceiling if you have a suspended ceiling um, and you'll see the plate on the back of the dome when I show you is very similar to an access point um, you have your get started well a little Thing about Unify Protect and you get started guide um, there and then in the bottom of this box you do actually have a uh, hopefully you can see that a PoE injector and um, cable so this is Australian um, power because where we are um, it is the uh, slightly more Mickey Mouse uh, version here um, of the connector the uh, clover leaf it's not a standard IEC so do be aware of that uh, you get a PoE injector, uh, probably by the looks of it a 24 volt, but it does run on 48 volt as well. Um, and you get um, your ceiling mount screws, wall lugs um, and wall screws as well. So that's the basic of what you get in the box. Um, I'm just going to pop that to the side, have a look at the actual unit um, itself, which I'll just put over the back here. All right, so just taking the plastic cover off that came with it. Um, this is the device itself. Um, show you the sides there as well. Designed that once it's mounted to the wall or to the ceiling like this, that the base itself swivels. So if I hold that statically, uh, you can actually see um, that I can do that. Maybe if I hold it out this way, it's better. You can actually see that I can move um, that around so you get a rough idea when you play, put it in place um, and I'll show you the back in a moment and you can then obviously um, adjust that as needed obviously it's probably designed like this it's slightly more static in its positioning as we know than maybe the bullet which has a, a double access control on it and obviously what we did have um, there as well which was the um, uh, glass mounting cover that once you've set that all up um, is going to put it put over the top there and seal it into place. Now, obviously, the one thing here to remember um, is that I wouldn't consider this as being a waterproof or watertight device. I do know people who have these mounted outside, um, but I would probably only do that if it was undercover. It's not like the G3 bullet um, or the G4 bullets that are water um, or more watertight or more water resistant. Um, this has, because of its dome here, it has more likelihood of rain um, be, or moisture at least being able to travel into this section. So let's now have a look at the base. The base you can see is um, actually very similar um, to an access point. So we're just gonna clip the mounting plate off. Um, so if you haven't seen uh, a Ubiquiti access point, they have a plate like this. Um, you can just screw directly through the holes here and screw the plate to the wall and then clip the unit onto it. Like I said, if you're mounting this on a ceiling, a false ceiling, um, then you would put this plate on the other side and you'd bolt the two together and then you'd be able to connect um, the unit up. Obviously, you can pass the uh, cable directly through here if you are ceiling mounted or maybe if you already come through the wall. Um, 
or you can come in directly through one of the channels on here which I'll just show you. So I don't know whether you can actually see here, um, this is the protective lug that we'll take out. So if we just take this out, um, you can actually see the hole there that you'd pass the cable through. It's got more of an RJ45 size at this side. So you're gonna pass the cable through um, and that will then connect uh, there. You can see, hopefully I can just move that around there. You can see um, the uh, ethernet in connector. What you can see then round the top here, hopefully, is a uh, channel um, which comes to a lug at the end which can be popped out and then the cable can actually come out um, directly there from the side. Hopefully I can just show you, my fingers in roughly the right place, uh, where that will come out um, from there. So if you were mounting this on a wall or somewhere flush and you couldn't run the cable through, then you would be able to bring the cable um, directly in um, and round. And obviously, like I said, the plate plugs back in place. Once you've got that, the cable passed through this, you can put the, lung, the bug back in place. Um, that will keep bugs and some level of moisture out um, of that side of the connection. So like I said, that is the Ubiquiti G3 Dome. Hopefully it's been useful and helpful. My name is Paul.